I'm delighted to be here tonight. Um, and just out of curiosity, I wanted to begin by getting a sense of how many of you have, that, have been to the Phillips before? Can you just do a raise of hand? Oh. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I think we had almost universal. That is amazing. Thank you. Come back. Um, <laughs> If you are not familiar with us, which it seems like that's the minority here, um, we are in DuPont Circle, as my colleague Klaus mentioned earlier, and we were founded by a gentleman named Duncan Phillips, who you can see pictured here on the slide, um, and we really are a very pioneering institution. We're America's first museum of modern art, and I put our mission statement up on the screen. We are an intimate museum combined with an experiment station. And so tonight I'm going to share with you one of the experiments that we've been working on recently that involves one of our best known works, which you can see here, which is Pierre Auguste Renoir's Luncheon of the Boating Party, as well as two very important contemplative spaces that my colleague Klaus mentioned earlier, which are um, the Rothko Room, pictured here, along with our um, wax room. So, the Phillips is home to the Rothko Room. Um, it is the first American museum space designed to experience Mark Rothko's work. And it is actually the only space of this kind that Mark Rothko himself actually visited and saw. Um, it is opened in 1960, and it's a space often used for contemplation, a place where we've seen our visitors focusing their attention and bringing profound awareness to what they can see in front of them. In 2011, German artist Wolfgang Leib visited the Phillips, and he was deeply impacted by his experience in the Rothko Room, so much so that in 2013, when he was invited to create a piece for the Phillips, he thought about how his experience in the Rothko room and the contemplation that he occurred for him um, related to his own wax rooms. So in 2013, Leib created a piece for the Phillips, which was a wax room using beeswax to cover the walls of a six by seven by 10 foot space. So it's a really intimate chamber, I'll use that word. Um, it's fragrant and it's luminous. Now, I couldn't bring the Rothko room with me tonight, and I couldn't bring the wax room with me tonight, um, but I actually did bring some wax with me. So my colleague Eliza is going to pass around some samples of the wax that we have used to um, cover the walls. And I thought it was really important to bring that because it's such a sensorial experience. I'm seeing people looking at it. I'm seeing people smell it. Please do that as it circulates around. And if, you're, if your attention is peaked, please come and see it. It's open every day. We're open. Um, so these two spaces. Out of curiosity, how many people have been to see the wax room, actually? That's a good number. Um, so these two spaces and really how they're used um, inspired the experiment I'm going to share with you tonight. It is a new contemplation audio tour, which is accessed via cell phone, and for the moment has four stops. So it has the Rothko room, it has the wax room, it has the luncheon of the boating party, and it has a choose your own artwork stop. Because we believe that any work in the museum or outside the museum could be brought to life in a very personal way through a contemplative experience. It's really appropriate to talk about tonight because as Bill mentioned at the very beginning with the introductions, it was born out of a conversation with UVA as well as with JD. This idea of creating a self-guided <coughs> experience for walk-in visitors to really engage with artworks in the collection. Additionally, we're so thankful to UVA faculty and students who helped us frame the experience. They helped us prototype the experience. And many of these people are here today. So I just want to recognize that it was truly a collaborative effort in creating um, this tour. So what you're about to experience is actually my reading of the Luncheon of the Boating Party stop. 
So this would be similar to what you might um, encounter if you walked into the museum and used your cell phone to access this tour. Uh, the experience combines slow looking and sensing, and we're hoping it really helps this artwork come alive for you in a personal way. And to get back to what Klaus was originally saying about the power of art for our founder, we're hoping it allows you to access the restorative power of art, which is so important to the foundations of our institution. So the um, contemplation audio tour stop, or tour stop I'm going to read to you, is about nine, eight, nine minutes, and it will end with a ringing of a chime. So this contemplative experience guides you through an exploration of slow looking and sensing and offers you the opportunity to deepen your relationship with this artwork right here, right now. Take your time and find a comfortable spot as you sit. Draw attention to your body. You might gaze softly at the ground in front of you or close your eyes. Be present with your body in this moment. <coughs> Take a full, deep breath in and release a slow, soft breath out. Take another deep breath in and exhale any tension you're holding, letting it melt out of your body, out of your thoughts, out of your mind. Relax your face and eyes. Release your jaw and shoulders. Soften your skin. As you're ready, gently open your eyes and absorb the painting in front of you. What do you see? What do you observe? Feel free to move or shift your position. Be comfortable. Breathe smoothly and easily as you explore the entire canvas, absorbing the big picture. Look closely, noticing more and more. Sense the presence of people around you, within the room, within the painting. Just observe without judgment, acknowledging any thoughts that arise and then letting them go, returning your awareness to the painting. You might feel yourself absorbed into the painting as if you were stepping into it. Notice how you feel. Feel into the space of this painting. What's closer to you? What's further away? Where is there movement? Where is there stillness? Hear the sounds 
within this painting. Smell the scents of this setting. Taste the flavors of this event. Feel this scene's air on your skin. Absorb colors. Experience light and shadows. Sense brush strokes and textures. Feel free to stay where you are or to change your position. Stay connected to your breath. Notice where you are attracted, where you get pulled into the painting. Notice where you feel more distance, more separation from the painting. Just be present with what you notice without getting attached or involved. Feel your experience right now. Feel your breath. Simply observe how this artwork makes you feel. Close your eyes if it's comfortable. Acknowledge whatever is coming up for you, however you may feel this peace in your body, your breath, your mind. Notice with calm, neutral awareness. There's no need to change anything. Simply observe what's arising. Try not to get attached or involved. Just observe. Continue to let your breath flow in and out, smoothly and gently. Once more, feel yourself sitting in this room. Take a deep breath in and release a deep breath out. Take another deep breath in and release another soft breath out. Notice how a few moments of focusing your attention on this artwork on your experience of this artwork may have shifted you in some way. Continue to slow down, look closely, and observe throughout your day. Pay attention to how you feel, to what you experience as you interact with people and places around you. What would it feel like to be present during your daily life, during days filled with precious, fleeting moments. As you open your eyes, know that you can choose to be present with whatever you see or sense, whomever you are with, whatever is happening, 
whatever you're thinking or feeling at any moment. Thank you.